Now, most of the companies, they talk about AI, but the ones that can implement it quickly, they will emerge as the leaders. Now, today we're discussing how to make that transformation, how to accelerate your organizational change, the, your processes, but also the task, all at rapid pace. And I'm very proud to welcome back Bobby Patrick. He's the CMO at UiPath, back on our show. We will dive into the latest developments on how to make AI and automation work effectively for your organization. Welcome, Bobby. Hi, Ronald. Great to be back with you. So, Bobby, looking back over the last couple of months, so what kind of key trends have you seen in organizations that are transforming with AI? Yeah, I, you know, as we gear up for forward now on our seventh forward, it's hard for me to believe that we're on our seventh forward. We're seeing a real pivotal shift. I mean, I, I think back to seven years ago at Forward One in New York City, it was jam packed. Uh, we had uh, fire marshals there complaining. It was am amazing. That was really the start of the RPA era, right? The start of these robots that provide kind of rules based, precision controlled, precision oriented task automation. And they've done amazing uh, work over the last seven years for you know 10,000 plus of our customers. And now UiPath has the largest market share by far um, in this robotic process automation market. But you know the days of automating the low hanging fruit are really over. And I think our customers now are saying, hey, I want to go after more complex tasks to automate. I want to try to, to, to address some of the tasks that require a bit more of uh, intellectual capability, perhaps like reading messages, reading documents, understanding the documents and compiling, you know, compiling suggested answers and those kind of things. So there's a real excitement now brewing that we're gearing up for and kind of going after this longer tail of complex tasks. And certainly Gen AI is going to be a key part of that, right? Gen AI and these large language models allow us to, to, to begin to in interject those capabilities, you know, alongside robots. And uh, this, this also allows a shift from, you know, back office transformation, which was a big part of the last seven years, to front office transformation and the ability to drive revenue and to drive drive sales and drive customer satisfaction and better customer service. And so um, there's a lot of excitement right now amongst our customers. We see record attendance at our forward event coming up. And, you know, I think people are looking at us and say, you know, sometimes they summarize our platform as, you know, the sales, not more salespeople platform or the happier customers, happier employees platform. And I think, um, you know, I think that's going to carry us well into this next this next exciting phase of, of the automation and AI market. And if you look to this next phase, um, you talked about the AI parts and how does the automation play a role in this transformation? Yeah, and I think you know we're really excited because we've always been an AI company really at heart because we've always wanted to emulate a human, human workers you know, through the screen or through APIs at a more intellectual level. So for example, over the last seven years, we learned how to read handwriting and you know, semi-structured documents and how to read different types of objects that move around on screens. So there's always been this innovation, but now it's like a leapfrog in innovation. And this next era, we kind of call it agentic automation. And it's the ability to, uh, to combine the, the robots I described earlier with a new class of agents then that are LLM based that can provide an, you know, more an intellectual capability around different tasks that maybe you know, could help augment a human worker or could help handle, you know, a decision uh, decision on behalf of a, of, a, of a company or of a worker. And so this agentic automation era is just beginning right now. We're getting ready to launch a series of innovations to go drive this uh, for our customers. And uh, yeah, I'm really excited about about uh, what, what agentic is going to do for, for businesses everywhere. And I'm going to be very curious to see this. And as you mentioned already, yeah, Forward 7 is just around the corner. We both will be there, of course. And what kind of AI and automation innovations and announcements can we expect? Yeah, so this is going to be an amazing forward because we have innovations from all angles. So last year we launched Autopilot. Now we've got new versions of Autopilot, Autopilot for everyone, where every employee can, can interact with robots through natural language. Certainly we have Autopilot for developers, which helps people build automations faster. We have new innovations around around our studio coming up that allow you to build agents. So we call a studio agent builder. That's going to come out about 30 days after Ford as well. Then security is really important to our customers. So we have this new context grounding capability that actually will go out, interact with models, whatever model a customer wants to work with, uh, public, public LLMs or open source LLMs, and make sure that those models are accurate as best possible for a particular conversation, for a particular workflow in a particular customer context. And then I'm really excited, probably the, the flagship announcement will be around process orchestration or what will become agentic orchestration that will actually bring together the management of all of these robots, all of these agents, the humans that are involved in all of these models into a nice, a nice 
streamlined interface with security wrapped around it. So, uh, you know, we're going to be the company that brings really AI, you know, into enterprise workflows and it'll build on our automation heritage. And, you know, I'm really excited about, uh, you know, what we're going to unveil it forward here uh, coming up. Yeah, an exciting long list of innovations and, and announcements. Uh, thank you, Bobby. Um, I'm really looking forward to attending Forward 7 again in Las Vegas. It's from October 21st to 24th. And if you want to join Bobby and me, don't forget to register because you don't want to miss all this announcement. And for the audience, thank you for watching again. And we look forward to seeing you next time. And for, of course, at Forward 7. Thanks. Bye-bye.